I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is the easiest version to learn, so if you're new to Mahjong, start here. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. If you want to know more about this, look below the video for a link to the lesson playlist so you can start with the fundamentals. Basically, you need four sets in a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence, called a chow, or three of a kind, called a pung. Since there's four of every tile, you could also have a four of a kind. And then all the components of your hand will determine your score. Don't forget to download this player reference so you can follow along. Let's roll the dice and see which seat we might be in for the exercise. Since I rolled a 10, that would be two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, player two. So we're going to say for the exercise, we're gonna be in seat two, that's south. And it is the east round. We're non-dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles. If you're playing with no minimum score, zero fawn, for this particular set of tiles, I would probably play all chow. All chow is one fawn. Here we have potential for six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. Here we have potential for one, two, three, you always have to have a pair, four sets in a pair. So here's a pair. There's a potential chow. This is isolated. And here's a potential chow. So we probably could discard the nine crack and mate or the six crack because we could do a seven, eight, nine or a six, seven, eight. Either way, we need a seven. So these two tiles. One, or, one of them can go, unless we were to draw in more cracks to use them. But here we have one, two, three, four potential chows in a pair. That would be a one fawn hand. Since we have no flowers, that would be another fawn. So I think if I were playing no minimum, I would go for all chow here. Some groups play with a minimum my group plays with a three fawn minimum. If I'm playing a three fawn minimum, I probably would discard the lesser represented suits and go with a half flesh, one suit with winds and dragons. So I would discard all these to get to a three fawn half flesh. Here we would have potential chow potential pung or pair, potential chow. So we have one, two, three blocks. We need more dots or honors to make this one work. So for a three fawn minimum, discard these. Gather dots and honors for three fawn half flesh. We have no wins, so the wind of the round and our seat wind didn't come into play with these tiles. Let's see what we can do for the south pull. I rolled an eight, so we're gonna be player four, north, non-dealer, we'll get 13 tiles. No flowers again. No flowers is one fawn. Here we have a pair, pair, pair. Regardless of a point minimum, zero fawn or three fawn, I would try for all three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pung. So we could do all pung, which is three fawn. Now we're gonna need to pair up more because we only have three blocks. You need five blocks. 
So here we have three pair, we need two more. Again, any pair is a potential pung. Now, we are in north seat and it is the south round. This is a north, that's our seat wind. That can bring us score if we get a pung. Same with the dragons. These both can bring a fawn if we pair up and pung. So I would discard the three crack and then maybe the five seven. Hold these, see if we can pair up and pung with these valued honors. All pung here. Hopefully a valued honor pung. We're going to do west round. I rolled a two. So we're going to be in south seat. Player two, non-dealer, will get 13 tiles. Two flower. And we are in south seat. Player two, we can get a fawn for that because it's our flower. There's a two there, we're in seat two. So we get a fawn for that. We need to see what we can do with these tiles. Here we have a pair of green dragons. If we get a three of a kind of the green dragon, that's a fawn right there. So that would be one, two fawn. Then we could do one, two, three, chows. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need is a pair. So even though we have chows in mixed suits, these would be of no value because of the mix. This is where the score would be, Punga Dragons. If we wanted more score, I would get rid of these four and play a half flesh with a dragon pung. Half flesh is three, dragon pung is one, so that's four plus our flower would be five fawn. Mixing chows with pungs in different suits, that's when you drive your score down. So for a lower scoring, quicker win, chow, dragon pung. For a higher score, half flesh, dragon pung. And of course, the flower. So here that's isolated in two potential chows. Single honors, we'd have to pair up in pung. We're now on north round. This time, let's say we're in east seat. I rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be player one. We're gonna get 14 tiles this time. Two flowers, three and four. We're in seat one, so we won't get score for those. You always get replacements though. So if we were playing zero fawn, we have a pair and a pair. Zero fawn, I would play all chow. Probably discard these back here because we have a pair, potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. One, two, three, four, five blocks. This one and this one have what's called a weak weight. We're waiting for the tile in the middle, closed weight. Same here, we need a four dot. Here we need a five crack. Those are weak. But here we have six, seven, six, seven. This is called an side weight. 
we need a number on either side that's a stronger weight because you have two tiles that can complete that block now here we could potentially use that five six seven but if we break it apart now we have one two three four five blocks all we need to do is fill in the chows so I probably would discard the seven first then the nine and then these and go for all chow that's if there's a zero fawn table if we're playing at a three fawn minimum that would be another story so we have one two pair four cracks five dots three bams i think what i would do here is push all pung all three of a kind and hold the pairs hold the dragon because if we pair up and pung we could get score and then pair up any of these and just pung or play defense because to get to three fawn we have seven discards including two pair to get to a half flush with our biggest suit maybe what we could do though is discard the dots and keep the cracks and the bam because that's where the pairs are discard these first and see what pairs up keep these draw in maybe cracks since we have more cracks than we do bams because we've got to get to three fawn with these tiles if you have that three fawn minimum so this is going to be a lot of this will require a lot of work if you have a three fawn minimum if you have a zero fawn this would be pretty quick to win i think one two three four five blocks that's set up nicely for an all chow hand one fawn If your group does not establish a fawn minimum, all you need is four sets in a pair, three in a sequence, or three of a kind. If your group establishes a minimum, two fawn or three fawn, which is the way I play typically, you've got to figure out how to get those tiles to the three fawn minimum. Don't forget to look below the video for this player reference so that you can learn the scoring elements. There's not that many, so it's a relatively short learning curve. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls, for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.